quite a few action camera mounts. And I got to thinking about it this morning. What would I do if I had to get rid of all of these except for a handful of them? Which ones would I keep? Now, the whole point of having all of these is that I want to be able to hook my camera to all different kind of surfaces, whether it's the outside of a car, myself, a bicycle, a tree, you name it. I want to be able to hook my camera to it. And after giving it some thought, I think I've narrowed it down to where I only really need three of these to still be able to hook my camera to virtually any surface. So whether you've just bought an action camera or whether you're looking for holiday gifts for people, I think these would be a pretty good buy. Starting out with number one, I have the small rig clamp mount. Now, I've mentioned this in other videos and I will keep mentioning it because this is one of the camera accessories I use the most, not even just for action cameras. This is universal because it has a quarter 20 thread on top here so you can use it for full-size cameras. I've used this to hook cameras to my car my one wheel, tree branches, it has so many applications. On this end it has this clamp, then there's a friction arm you can bend around in any direction, then you can just tighten this down to lock it into place. This has also lasted me a long time because the entire thing is made out of metal and coming in at only $14 it just makes sense that every filmmaker or photographer should have a couple of these on hand. Now moving on to the second camera mount that I recommend we have the snap mount. Now this is specifically designed for action cameras so you can see it has the action camera style mounting plate here and this is another very versatile mount. Um, it has magnets in this plate here. I've used it a lot to connect to the outside of my truck and the magnets have been plenty strong enough to hold my action camera to the outside of my truck even rumbling down dirt roads and over bumps and stuff and I've not had um, any worries about it falling off. It's very strong magnets and it can be used for other things besides just hooking two metal surfaces because it comes with another mounting plate so both of these have magnets in them they're going to connect together. So what you could do is you could put this mounting plate in your shirt, that's why it has this lanyard on it. Put this down inside of your shirt. The two mounting plates are going to be magnetically held together um, with your shirt in the middle, making for a nice chest mount. The snap mount also comes with several other mounting plates. So what you can do is you can leave these connected to things like have this one left on a selfie stick, this one left on a tripod. So your snap mount becomes a quick release system for your camera. This makes it really fast to switch between what your camera is connected to. So it's on my chest mount. Now it's on my selfie stick. Now it's on a tripod, all just within a matter of seconds. It is made out of plastic, but it's a very durable plastic. I don't see it breaking anytime soon. The one thing that is kind of a downside to it is that it comes in at $40, so it's a little spendy. You're definitely gonna wanna be somebody who uses your action camera quite a bit already and know that you're actually gonna put this to use on a regular basis in order for it to be worth plopping down a $40 for. However, if you do use your action camera a lot and can see yourself using it, it definitely is very useful. Now for the last mount that I recommend to you guys, I have this really high quality mini tripod. The legs on this twist and extend out. When the legs are fully extended, the tripod stands about a foot and a half tall. The legs can also spread out flat so you can get your camera close to the ground. It has a ball head swivel mount and then a quick release mounting plate here on top. This is also almost entirely made of metal. It does have a few rubber or plastic things like the feet on this are made of rubber, but it's a high quality rubber. And then most of the stuff that you depend on for its structural integrity is made out of metal. This has lasted me for years and I'm sure it will last me for years to come. It does come in at a price of $49, but it's definitely something that I felt is worth every penny just because of its really high quality precision build. So between these three camera mounts, you'll be able to mount your camera virtually anywhere. If you want any of these, links in the description below to take you over to Amazon. Make sure to go check out some of my other videos right here, and I'll see you guys next time.